Hello and welcome to this week's vlog from Madison's. Well, I'm back from a two-week break. Come back to the month of August, which is typically a very quiet time for estate agents in terms of new listings and viewings. But we're really busy with completions, trying to get a lot of people moved in before the schools return in September. While I was away, though, I kept an eye on the property world. And uh, Rightmove produced their house price index. It's always a really great gauge of what's going on in the market. And they had some interesting facts that totally back up what we're seeing at the moment. Um, there were more listings, actually. Uh, listings were up 8.6% last year, uh, sorry, last month. But uh, there were not a corresponding increase in the number of buyers. So that means that we are continuing to see a very fierce buyer's market at the moment. Indeed, prices are at a complete standstill. Um, and if you look at the number of actual price reductions, uh, these are more happening now than since uh, September 2011. So uh, I think that's a real sign that if you take your property to market at an unrealistic price, you simply won't achieve it. Um, so sellers are having to work really, really hard, uh, and agents as well, in terms of price, promotion, and presentation. And on presentation, that uh, reminded me of a, a blog that I wrote a while ago, which I have revisited, um, which is the top three things to do when you're selling your property. Uh, Madison's gets called out to lots and lots of uh, re-instructions where people have been on with other agents and are just desperate to know why their house hasn't sold. And we're always incredibly honest in terms of presentation things that you need to do. The top three things in my mind are always make a great first impression, ensure that you have defined every room to its clear purpose and tidy up any unfinished business and create a, a real lifestyle view for a buyer to buy into. Uh, that's on my uh, website. So do have a read of that in more detail or of course give me a call if you would like my advice on how to get your property sold. Well uh, we've looked at some lovely properties that have been for sale recently as well and Rightmove have introduced uh, a quite an interesting feature on their home page. It's all to do with those properties who've had the most views in 2018. Well anyone who knows me well knows that I am a sucker for a view so the one that really caught my attention was a beautiful property on at three million pounds in St Moores in Cornwall. This waterfront resident has an acre of mature gardens and fabulous panoramic water views and direct access to the private beach. Um, that would absolutely do it for me because I do love a view as so many of my uh, sellers and buyers know. However, two lovely properties that we've taken to market here in Tunbridge Wells, both around the £400,000 market, both with two bedrooms, both with private garden and a nice roof terrace. One is in Kentish Gardens. Um, it's a really contemporary property, so highly energy efficient and in a nice exclusive gated development. So it has a real wow factor about it. And another one is on Mount Ephraim. It's a two bedroom flat, but presented in stunning order. Um, the owners have really loved it. They've been there quite a while, actually, and they've uh, really invested heavily in that property. That's a great one to look at as well. Both are proving very popular and both have potential interest already. So do get in touch quickly if you think those might be of interest. Well, of course, the children have broken up from school, so lots to do. I've looked for two free events that you might be interested in do, taking your children on locally. Uh, the first one is you can discover all about ancient Egypt in the Royal Victoria Place. That's running until the 26th of August. And another great one, if you want to get your children out and about for a good walk, there's a really great uh, sort of treasure trail one, a murder mystery whodunit. Um, it's running uh, right through the, the summer period, and you can download uh, the guide for that at www.treasuretrail.com. .co.uk. It takes you on a two and a half mile walk all around Tunbridge Wells, starting here on the beautiful Pantiles and is well worth doing. We do hope you've enjoyed this vlog uh, this week and we look forward to seeing you next week. Bye bye.